Godzilla Anime 2 Electric Boogaloo. Hey guys, welcome to another Lone Colony something. <laughs> I'm here by myself, and well, someone's gotta get the views, and no one wants to do a podcast, so I'm just here doing. Doing the work, just... Fuck, this is terrible. So, straight to the point. Yesterday, someone by the Twitter handle Sagoy Light or Lit? I'm not good with these. Made a post stating there will be a new Godzilla anime. This post had some concept drawings, uh, one with some characters, another with Godzilla, and the title, which we'll be getting to later. Now, in usual fashion, the Greater Godzilla community took this with a great pinch of salt, especially given the fact that a few weeks earlier, it was presumably confirmed that HBO Max was going to be coming out with their own Godzilla series. Uh, that has been confirmed to be false, by the way. <laughs> but on the same day that tweet was let out, it was confirmed by most of the official Godzilla Twitter pages, and not only that, but also the English and Japanese Netflix pages, that the King of the Monsters will return again in 2021 as a Netflix exclusive series dubbed Godzilla Singular Point, which is can't wait for the sequel of Godzilla's secondary location. <laughs> Crap this. My notes are going all haywire. No. Now, of course, G fans want to know what's going into this project. Who's going to be directing, who's going to be composing the music, who's going to be writing the script, who's going to be voice acting the characters, and there are a lot of characters, holy shit. Especially since the last Godzilla anime has divided the greater fan base. Uh, right off the bat, it should be noted that this series will not be taking place, nor will it be connected to the Godzilla anime trilogy, which consists of two prequel novels and three films. This series is looking to be on an entirely new continuity, whether this will be connected to other films like the 1954 film, or if this is going to be another standalone like Shin Godzilla or even the Monsterverse. That part has yet to be known, but if they do have it connected to another continuity, I wouldn't be completely surprised as that was like the go-to strat for the Millennium series, but uh, thus far in the Reiwa era, it seems that all the films are starting off their own continuity, their own stories, uh, without any connections to previous films, so it's safe to say that this is going to be the same thing. So helming this project is a gentleman by the name of, uh, crap, I'm gonna butcher this, uh, Atushi uh, Takahashi. Known for Doraemon, Greater Adventure in the Antarctic, Blue Exorcist the movie, and directed a few episodes in some TV anime, mainly Space Dandy, Wakfu, Rideback, Kemon, Kemon Zumi, and Magical Shopping Arcade. Uh, now I'm getting a bit worried here due to Takahashi's limited filmography. Uh, as a director, but maybe he'll surprise us the same way Gareth Edwards surprised us with Godzilla 2014, especially considering that was his second feature-length film after Monsters. Man, noises. <laughs> Writing the script is Toe Enjo, who worked on Empire of Corpses and also written a few scripts for Space Dandy. However, they're not the same episode that uh, Kushi Takahashi directed. In terms of character designs, we have two people responsible. Uh, the human characters will be designed by K uh, Kazu Kato, I think I'm pronouncing that right, who's responsible for making the Blue Exorcist manga, both written and illustrated by herself. That's pretty cool. And AJ Yamamori, who will be designing the monsters for the series. And from what I've been seeing, Spicy meet the ball. He's usually worked as a key animator for some Studio Ghibli films such as Princess Mononoke and Spirited Away. And finally, the music composer is Kan Sawada. Kan Sawada. 
Yeah, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Who did soundtracks for most of the Doraemon uh, movies, including Great Adventure in Antarctic, and an anime series called uh, Yomushi Pedal Re Rerid. God damn it, these titles. <laughs> now, in terms of studios who will be doing the animations, this is when things start getting really, really exciting. Uh, the studio that will be leading the charge of animations is none other than Studio Bones and Orange. Holy shit. <laughs> you may have recognized Studio Bones' work in other anime, mainly working with Toho Animations to bring My Hero Academia to fruition. And they also brought us both Full Metal Alchem- <laughs> They also brought both Full Metal Alchemist animes and a lot more impressive anime that left their mark on the greater genre, which I'll leave a list uh, or a link to the to the wiki page, just check it out. <laughs> so Studio Orange, if you don't know, they're responsible for the Land of the Lustrous anime and Beastars. Now, in terms of the two animation studios, I do hope that the three animation will blend well with the 2D uh, following the similar style in terms of cell shading and lighting and etc uh, etc. Et now in terms of other things like from what we've seen thus far uh, already I'm liking this a lot more than uh, the anime trilogy. Now I'm not saying the anime trilogy is bad I do have my gripes with the film but when the anime trilogy was initially announced uh, I think a lot of people got the same idea as me thinking that the anime trilogy was going to be uh, a TV series and it's gonna be 2D but then when I found out it was gonna be another Godzilla film uh, I was really disappointed mainly because I think we're long overdue for a proper Godzilla show whether that be live action or anime uh, so seeing this uh, already is looking a lot better for me and with the studios that are going to be involved uh, very excited my only concern, however, is probably going to be with the people handling the project. Now, the two character designers, uh, they've already done an amazing job. I think Godzilla looks really, really cool. I, I love how uh, it looks like he's taking influence from uh, Eastern dragons with the exaggerated fangs and the bulging at the lip area and, uh, you know, just the round eyes and the exaggerated details. I, I really like that. Can't wait for the SH monster still coming out for that. <laughs> when I look at the cast of characters, it reminds me of Japan Sinks 2020, SSS Gridman, and Shin Godzilla. Mainly young characters uh, and some bystanders, but it looks like we have some uh, governmental suits in there as well. Uh, so if I had to guess, the story is probably going to have two different perspectives. We're probably going to have the younger uh, characters or the people in the more uh, regular clothing be at ground zero when Godzilla starts rampaging, while the suits will be trying to determine uh, how they're going to execute uh, military strategies or evacuations. In terms of story, it looks like this is going to be taking place in a more modern era. It's not going to go in a similar route to the anime Godzilla. Uh, I'm not even sure if they're going to be introducing other monsters other than Godzilla. Um, but like from everything I'm seeing, it looks like this is going to be more of a disaster anime. Now in terms of concerns, like most of the people involved, I'm kind of concerned because of the limited filmography they have. Uh, the film director, he's only done I believe five. Uh, he has five directing roles, and one of them was a movie, and he did a few episodes of- he did the one episode of Space Dandy, and I think he directed all of Blue Exorcist. We also have the writer who also written a couple of scripts, uh, I think like three in total. But do I believe that they could pull it off? Yeah, I think they could pull it off. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the description to show, uh, the crew members and their statements in terms of this Godzilla anime, so be sure to check that out. The series is set to debut in Japan on April 2021 and will be distributed internationally later in the same year. Uh, it's possible that they'll be going the Godzilla anime route, so... 
No, I just realized, like, I, I can't say Godzilla anime as ignorantly anymore, because it's no longer just the one Godzilla anime. There's two now. What I meant to say is the Godzilla anime trilogy, uh, the film series that came out before. Uh, if we're gonna go with that logic, then it's safe to say that uh, this anime will release internationally probably around July of 2021. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. And given the release date now, it's safe to say that it's gonna keep with the 2021 release date. Um, and it's probably not gonna move after that. Uh, which is good news, especially given how uh, we've been getting delays left and right. Dune earlier this week was confirmed to be releasing later in the year of 2021, and Jurassic World Dominion has been pushed a full year back to 2022. And given the fact that Godzilla vs. Kong has yet to begin marketing, uh, it's safe to say that film is probably going to be pushed back again. So this Godzilla anime is very refreshing news in uh, this just wave of delays and pushbacks. Personally, I'm pretty excited for the series. Uh, I hope it does well. I hope it like brings Godzilla back to the... Because when the initial anime trilogy came out, it didn't really make much of a splash in the greater anime community, so hopefully this will be Godzilla's redemption uh, towards that. And, uh, yeah. Uh, if there's anything I missed, pretty sure there is, so leave a comment down below uh, stating if I missed anything. And, uh, yeah, probably do a proper podcast with everyone else on, but for now it's just me just stating some information and my own personal uh, thoughts on the whole situation. So, yeah, until 2021, see you all next time.